Okay guys, today we got something super exciting. We're headed up to Loop 7, here to catch the train down to the airport and then we're on our way. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with Luft 7, you're thinking, what the heck is Luft? It stands for Luft Occult. It is an all air-cooled show, but it's really more than a show. I have not been, but from what I understand, it's sort of like Cars and Coffee meets Art Gallery in an outdoor setting with a little bit of like production in it. So, it's supposed to be really unique. They typically have them out on the West Coast. Last year, we're supposed to be in Durham, so everybody on the East Coast, like myself in Atlanta, said, hey, we're definitely going, got to see what Luft is all about. Unfortunately, it was pushed back due to COVID. Makes total sense. They've actually moved the event to Indy. So getting ready to take the train down to Atlanta Airport. We're going to take our flight, uh, get up there this evening, and then Friday is an all-day show, basically from about 10 to 5. Of what I understand is going to be some of the most rare, you know, example stuff you really just don't see anywhere mint cherry type stuff but all staged in a really unique way so definitely looking to catch up with a bunch of people from various events around the country several of those who follow the channel I haven't met yet so that's gonna be super exciting and then Saturday is at the track so Indianapolis Motor Speedway really the whole weekend they've got a uh, sports car together concept going but it's various races Carrera Cup you know other stuff I'm gonna check that out on Saturday and hop a flight back so pretty quick trip but gonna pack a lot in taking you guys along for the ride so if you've ever been thinking about going to a Luft event either out on the west coast or wherever they have the next one for Luft 8 this will give you a sense of kind of what it's all about Okay, we are in Indy. Great weather. It's definitely a little cooler here than it was in Atlanta. To be expected, obviously it's further north, but welcome change. Kind of feels like September here for uh, what it's worth. But gonna get checked in. Got a little bit of work to wrap up this evening. Gonna maybe check out the area where the event's gonna be tomorrow for dinner and then on to tomorrow's event. But super excited to take you guys along and show you what Loop's all about. Good morning, guys. All right, so we are headed to the event. My hotel is about 20 minutes away, so I think I'm gonna actually ride one of these scooters for the first time. It seems kind of weird that I've never done that before, but we're gonna take one of those down. It should make it about a 10 minute trip. Got an early admission ticket, so that opens at 10.30 as opposed to noon. The hope there being I can get some shots that are not like crazy busy. I'm sure it's gonna get packed as soon as uh, the larger crowds get there. So, gonna go in at 10.30, probably do as much shooting as I can from a photo perspective, uh, meet up with people and get on with the day, but super excited. Here we go.
guys, we're here, as you can see, plenty of cars behind me, major really cool event, uh, probably about seven or eight streets worth of cars, all sort of curated and laid out in a really specific and unique way. The buildings are very cool. There's everything from Gunther Works to Singer to driver quality stuff. A lot of people have driven in, lots of different license plates, but this event's definitely living up to uh, its reputation. And I'm gonna spin around, capture a number of the other cars that are here, but honestly, there's almost too much to capture. See it all once. Uh, I've had to do at least two laps already just to get a sense of what's here. So I can go back and get some photos and stuff of some of the really unique things. But amazing event, amazing location. Really glad I made the trip up. Some great examples from none other than Mr. Rod Emery. So they brought a couple cars out. Number one is this cab, which is absolutely stunning. Really amazing example, but then also this car in this color is just so nice. Especially with the black wheels, it's got obviously that signature outlaw look that Rod and the team over at Emory are so well known for, but what a beautiful car. You know you're at a well-attended air cool event when this is the general admission parking. This is non-show cars. But as you guys can see, this lot is absolutely full of it's probably a couple hundred amazing air cools that aren't even part of the show display, but are just people that have driven here from all over the country. So this is definitely what makes this event unique. Not a whole lot of events, frankly, no event that I can think of where you're gonna see this level of air-cooled Porsche in one place. Maybe a little biased, but in my honest objective, as objective as it can be opinion, this car is one of the best, repped by one of our hometown guys, Christian. Honestly, man, the spec is beautiful, and out of this whole lot, I'm putting you easily in the top five here, brother. This thing is looking good, and by the way, it is getting a lot of looks. I've seen no fewer than like 10 people stop at this car in the last five minutes. All right, guys, so that's a wrap from day one. Hope you enjoyed that quick spin around the event. That way, if you've ever thought about coming to one of these, it gives you a sense of what it's all about. Tomorrow, we'll head out to the track, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Carrera Cup, lots of racing. So take you through that as well. And then we'll head back to Atlanta. 